<laughs> All right, guys, welcome once again to Jimmy's Kitchen. Today we got a very special guest, yeah. Harry Shum Jr., my brother in real life, and my brother bro, bro. in Love Heart, baby. Bro, bro. You know what? I am so pumped about this. Are you pumped about this? I'm so pumped. Oh, uh, we. This is a Christmas miracle. A little uh, Christmas episode. You know, I was texting you. I was like, "What can we make for Christmas? What's Christmas?" Food? What? I don't even know what people make. I don't for think Christmas. A Christmas food exists. Like maybe like a casserole, some kind of ca <laughs> like a green bean is casserole. It? But that's like, isn't that ambrosia salad? <laughs> ambrosia salad. Hold on, Harry. I actually got you a gift. Oh, here. Hey. What? Flowers, oh, my friend. Thanks. This is actually uh, on sale for $198 one ninety eight at Home Depot. Look, and we we have a see? pen in there too. Oh, that see, that, well, that's mine. Really I'm gonna that. This is we have all the colors of Christmas right now. This is now. beautiful. Look at this. We have this is this represents snow. Yeah. Look. Look. There you go. That, that's a little Christmas spirit. Yo, that's gangster right there. Okay, so we are making sudado de pollo. It's a Colombian dish. Um, Stu, sudado? Sudado de pollo. De pollo. What, de is, pollo. what does that mean? Sweaty chicken. Sweaty chicken. Yeah, you never thought you would. It sounds better in Spanish. You don't want to be like, hey, you want some sweaty chicken? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but no, it no, tastes no, no, good. No. It's really, really good. Flavors and, and especially like achote and, and, and which one are you going to use? That's in a cumin seed bottle. Yeah, that's how that's you a know. very, that's a very, uh, uh, yeah. It's like a very immigrant thing. Rest <laughs> assured, it is achiote. This this bottle says cumin, but it might not be cumin. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. Here's the chicken that we're gonna make sweaty. Chicken thighs, god damn it! Last time the guy gave me a chicken breast, and my this got real dry. But this is gonna be better. It's a value pack chicken thighs. Okay, yeah, look at this. Why? Chicken thighs is cheaper. This is six eighty nine. Uh, a lot of this show is about prices of stuff. Oh, and see, and see <laughs> deals that we're finding. See, total price twelve oh eight, but now if you buy the value pack, it's only one ninety nine a pound. Mm -hmm. Chicken, 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 chicken. I had my assistant and cameraman what? Will uh, go get some cabbage, and this is what he got me. It's obviously iceberg lettuce. Oh, that's awesome. This is what we're using it for. Thank you so much, Will. Kids these days, they don't even know what vegetables are, okay? All right, Chef, what are we doing? All right, let's um, uh, do the onions. Okay. All right, I got a nice dicing technique. You know, you cut off the one of the ends, right? You have to, so you just cut it, but not all the way back, so it stays intact, you know? Right. That's when you know you know. Like, so some people when they cut, they're just intact. they're just doing this. No, no, and that's you, how you, you cut have, the finger. Yeah, you have the you need the claw, the baby. claw, and going against it so you don't cut your so, finger no matter how fast you. And cut. then now we cut it this way. The onions already have the grooves. Hey. See now you got diced onions. Hey. You want them diced, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you cry much mm. when the onions? Start you mean in general or in general. <laughs> just the onions? Uh, I cry at mo I cry at movies sometimes, um, but not too much with onions, um, you know. But I also have uh, safety goggles if uh, if you need. You have safety goggles. <laughs> yeah, this is. Hey, why don't you put these goggles on? I got glasses. It's hard when you have glasses. It's a real Holy struggle. Shit. Oh my god! These with, are like... uh, yeah, those are your onion goggles. Oh god! Give me suction. I'm gonna. I'm. I can't. I don't. Oh, I don't know if I can wear these. I'm gonna put them up. <laughs> Here, I'll peel these. Ooh, look at that. Dice nice. nice. Get up in that. How often do you take paypago? Paypago? Chunpui paypago. Dang, there used to be a commercial in Hong Kong. Chunpui paypago. Zikup fa hango. Ah, it's great. It's, it's, you know, this is great for voiceovers. If you yeah, do voiceovers, no, it coats your throat. It coats your throat, or if you're just having a little it's allergy, a little good. scratchy, sore throat. So, like, equal part of pepper and onions? Yeah, that pepper. sounds good. Oh, the green onions. It's important. So, just, you know. Green onions. Okay. Chop them up. As you're wearing my uh, Holy Trinity, but we, we're not doing celery today. This is the New Orleans Holy Trinity. It's onions, uh, uh, bell peppers, and celery. Now we're going to do. Onions, bell peppers, and green onions. So dice, small, small, very much matching. Okay, matching gotta match, gotta match. It cooks the same. Okay. So what I do here, you cut it this way. You know, uh, one thing that really bothered me about this one movie I love, Always Be My Maybe, our good friends Ali Wong yeah. and Randall Park. Ali's a chef in the movie, right? 
But then she does this move where she doesn't cut the green onions. She like slowly scissors them like one by one. But I'm like, no chef is doing that. Somebody plays a singing teapot in a Disney movie doesn't mean they're always nice, Marcus. <laughs> no chef oh, yeah. does that. Oh, yeah. Although the scissors come in handy. Do you ever like cook something and then like you can't, you just like use Oh, I love, I, I love scissors for Korean barbecue. The pork belly. Oh, dude. You, you, you tong it up and then cut it. That's the best. That's my move. Look at this. This is our holy trinity, right? That's the holy trinity. Oh, that is beautiful. That is gonna taste Ooh, that's gonna be so banging. So you got all your colors. You see it? it? Smells great. You're gonna cook this down, I'm guessing? We're gonna cook this down, yeah. Okay, that's gonna it's be great. That's gonna be our base. And then we'll do potatoes. Okay. I always like uh, having a rag. It makes me feel uh, very professional. Well, because you eventually gonna mash them? No, no, no mashing. No. Oh, small cubes. No, it doesn't have to be super small. It's just kind of like medium. Okay, how, how do you do this? Like, what's the best way to do this? I'm, so ba I'm so bad at explaining. I'm not good with food. potatoes. Oh, you cut it, okay. That's good. Oh, nice, oh, okay. That's pre pretty good. big cubes. Pretty big cubes. You want, because you, if it's too small, then it's gonna get too soft. Yeah, so you don't want to get mushy. Especially, it's gonna go in for 30 minutes. Next, we are gonna do tomatoes. I gotta say, American tomatoes have no flavor. Yeah, they're kind of losing. Because I think they're so, when they're so big, I've always thought I hated tomatoes until I went to uh, Italy, not to brag, I went there to study abroad. And um, I could just have tomatoes with olive oil for The breakfast. time when I went to Italy. I don't even want to do this. Dice it. Slice and dice. Okay, you got to take out the core here, right? Make a little triangular yeah. cut. Take this baby out. I study cooking it uh, on YouTube. Basically what I do is I just stay one step ahead. I watch two YouTube videos and then I make one. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Let's do... Uh, Let's do some celery. You mean cilantro? Shit, I don't like you calling it celery. It's this, I see it. Yeah, it's confusing you. Um, so this is just gonna go on top, or you cook with this? Uh, we're gonna cook part of it. Yeah, um, a little the, more than that. And then we're gonna use half of it to cook and half of it to- I like to keep some of the roots, not all of it, just like some of it. All right, cool. So we uh, got some chicken thighs here. Yeah. I like that uh, we didn't really measure. This is just eyeballing everything. We which is never, how I cook. I, do you measure? No, never, never. Sometimes I like, I'm like, okay, I can't fuck this up. I have to measure. Well, that's why I can't bake, because yeah. baking is Ooh, like science. You do not want me to bake. We got onions, bell peppers, green onions. Uh -huh. We have the potatoes. And then we have the diced tomatoes. tomatoes. Okay, cool. Chicken. Um, and if you, uh, uh, the better option too is if you want more flavor is the bone, get the bone in. Ah. You get the bone w with it, you're gonna get more flavor of the bones. And then cilantro, not celery, garlic. I think we're good. We, let's, we gotta mash this. These are actual. Oh, jeez. Okay. See, so we gotta mortar and pestle it. That's my favorite. I don't know if you want, it's gonna turn it red. Do you wanna put a. No, that's fine. Right. Now, should we mash this with the garlic? We can. Okay, let's see. Let's mash this. A chill day with some garlic. This is gonna be delicious. This, this is the Jimmy version. I've never seen this done. Is this before. dish spicy? Because we can throw no. some, like, make it pie. Throw some. Okay, let's <laughs> try it. Pounding, a little swirling. You know, it's all about the straw carry. What do you mean by that? All right, so let's get started. We got a nice get paste the, going here. Pot. Medium heat, heat up the pan a little. I just got a, my trusty canola oil. How much? That's enough, right? Just coat the pan. Yeah, maybe a little, yeah. Maybe a little maybe more, a little more. more. Little yeah, because yeah. yeah, we have so much chicken. But the it. chicken's gonna have its own oil. We're gonna do water, which is after that. Yeah, yeah, kids out there do not mix water with oil. Hell no. Yeah. You lose an eye. That was a pro move. I like that, the lifting it up, gently swirling it. That's what you do, guys. Nope. No, Let's no. Let's see. Good thing we win, good thing we win, good thing we win. Not yet. A few moments later. Oh yeah, now we got some action, let's go. Get the holy trinity in there. Should we just throw the whole thing in? Might as well, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But the great thing about casting, you can really feed it up. I could use like just like metal tongs and like yeah. feed it up. You can pass it down to your kids. Kid. Let's get some tomatoes. I'll turn up the heat a little bit. Mm. All right. Let's Make a hole for it. Oh yeah. 
Nice. Layering the flavors, man. We got a whole new trinity. Oh, is it achiote time? Yeah. With garlic? Yeah, let's do it. You gonna do half or all of it? No, let's see what this looks like. I don't want to overdo it. Okay. Achiote! And then let's do this. Cumin. Oh, so you add the spices early. Yeah. I see, I see. Usually I add it like when the meat goes in. So but it's really now, soaking it in. So now you, you're basically like making a curry, right? Yeah, like, but then because when you add the water, it actually, it, it the all, all, it, all the flavor is in this and it comes out and then oh, it this goes is into great. the chicken. Wait, 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 chicken first? Yeah, we do the chicken on top and we pour the water. Wait, wait, you, don't want, you, you want to low heat the chicken? You don't want to sear the chicken? No, you don't sear the chicken. You don't have to sear you the chicken. Don't. You don't. Oh, sear the chicken. That's you, don't want to, you don't want to lock it. Cause you don't want to lock it because you want you want it to go oh, you want the chicken going. to go in the sauce yeah that's why it's yeah. sweaty chicken sweaty it's not chicken. serious chicken so you put them into the sauna kind of thing yeah because you I, i'm so used to like the chicken that's like, what sizzling, i'm sizzling right yeah, yeah, yeah but this is different different technique yeah because then you're gonna add oh. the water and do you coat the thing on the chicken right now the the, the mm, whole no, no, no you will no you won't you won't you're gonna just you, you you put the water in okay and then you put it back in the high heat and then yeah, I don't know how much water that was. That was one bowl of water. Yeah, one bowl of water. Yeah, let me stir it. And then just a little bit. Put all these suckers in there. And okay. then... <laughs> this is great. Da, 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 da. Oh, you put early cilantro. Yeah, some of it. Some of it. Early, early entry cilantro. Early entry. Wouldn't that wilt? Or uh, I guess that'll be part of flavor. And then you part put of the flavor, there. and then you put. And then you put garlic, raw garlic. Raw garlic after, yeah. So you, it's it's all different because we're used to like I'm telling yeah, you, I'm, I'm used, used to, to it like searing the garlic, it, yeah, searing the chicken, searing the potatoes. Because you want you don't want to you want the garlic flavor to come out slowly throughout the time. We want everything to marry each other. This is now, like making a soup. Salt. Okay. Now salt. Now salt. Now put that salt. You do this too. Ooh. Uh, okay. Just uh, we haven't added any salt to anything, any so we're gonna be a little more generous, but yeah. we can always add more yeah. later. Ooh, Bam. That's nice. <laughs> now you gotta what is it over your left, right? Oh, is that is that what's going on? If you spill salt, you gotta throw it over your left. This seems like a new dance craze. <laughs> but um, now we do the plantains. How does plantain taste like just raw? Hang on. I don't know. I've never tried it raw. I don't think it tastes good. It might it's be... crunchy. It has that banana flavor, but it's like crunchy and like kind of dries up your mouth a it's little. Really it has dry. a weird yeah, mouth you feel. You need oil with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Lost a little meat there. Oh, lost a lot of meat there. And then, and then now what? Now we compare. <laughs> <laughs> it still works. So now I'll do yours first. So you want to cut it like about what is it? Uh, what is it? That's an inch. inch. Yeah, that's inch, an inch. inch and yeah. a half. About here. What you're gonna do? You want enough to to smash it. I see. You need a good amount. You need you need a good amount. This is like deep frying, right? Yeah, so kind of like at least half. Don't be bit. shy. We need oil. We need submerge it. That's is that good or more? More. Oh boy, okay. Really deep fry this baby. That's good. So is the plantain gonna expand or are you just no. gonna smash? He's gonna smash, baby. That, that, that's what the audience are here for. <laughs> All right, so we flip these. Oh yeah, the bottom is getting golden. You see that? That's golden brown, baby. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's beautiful. It's starting to soften. Okay, wow. Do you usually prefer to cook by like the kitchen alone? Uh, I could do either or, you know, a drink or I, I just like cooking. It's like a nice creative process Hell yeah. that allows you to mess up. If, if, if you know you don't cook it that well this time, come back tomorrow and do it again, which is very similar to stand up in a way. Yeah. If a joke doesn't work, come back tomorrow and be better. You know, it's and the reps. It kind of lives and dies in a moment, and, and, and I just love it. It's kind of that. You Watch out, a cleaver. Oh, gentle. See? Gentle. And then do you, do you put it right back in? Do you put it back in yeah. straight away? Okay, so that, that's still hot. Yeah, so it has a little bit of like a flower look. It looks really pretty. Yeah. Let me smash yeah, it. Yeah, you smash it. Watch out, watch out there now. Just enough, not too. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. You, you can't, you it. can't like just hammer no. it down. You gotta be a little gentle with the smash. Good. We use this very Chinese oh, plate with the koi fish on oh, it. Oh yeah, baby. Since it's oily, you want it to absorb. Oh, oh, you wet. want the salt to absorb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little. Yeah. Just a little. yeah. 
salt, a little sugar. Mmm! Wow! This is good! Let's do this. I'm gonna try this one. Wow. It cold. doesn't taste like a banana, really. Yeah. It has a little bit of the same texture. Oh, man. And it's so starchy. It's perfectly crunchy as if you bread it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. See, when you do it this way, mm. you get the inside to get that extra crunch. Mm. 20 minutes later. Oh, wow. The potatoes cook down and the yeah. starchiness of the yeah, potato is like thickening it up. It's Ooh. a little soupy, little soupy. It's nice, the soup is actually a nice soup. Usually you put a little bit less water. Mm. But it's oh the flavor good. is great and it's it's not spicy but it's so much flavor. Oh yeah. What I like to do is like you have leftovers, you get some noodles, get some udon noodles. Ooh, you can make like a ramen. Yeah, so it almost feels like a little bit of a curry, but not. You could add curry a little bit after and That's completely really change the taste nice. of it. She can be sweaty as hell. Sweaty. In the bowl. I got like the Southwest uh, plate that I actually bought from the 99 cent store. Oh, it looked like a restaurant, yeah. man. Yeah. Restaurant quality, bro. Here, we'll we'll come over here, come over here, Will. Let's plate this. Let's get a little sauce with a piece of potato on there. Into the rice. Oh my lord. A little chicken. More sauce. Oh, that's nice, huh? Oh, that's beautiful. That's nice. That's it. Sudado de pollo. I like, I like, Harry. I like. And now, it's time to eat. Sudado de pollo. Look at the sauciness over uh, here, man. Chicken, hero. How oh my god, cut a little bit of chicken. Get a little bit of sauce in there. Oh. Come on, man. Mm. Oh yeah. It's a mm. sauce. Sauce is a hero, man. Mm, it's it's so right. comforting. I mean, you can taste the achiote flavor. It's not overwhelming. And the bell pepper. Oh, the bell peppers was great. You know? I like the chote with the garlic because it, it, it gets a little of the, the paste and mixes it. That's right, that's garlic. right. Nice garlic flavor. I wouldn't mind, like I said, if, uh, next time we'll do it with a little spicy sauce. Mm. Even. Oh, yeah. A little spicy. No, I actually was supposed to put um, some jalapeno, a little bit of jalapenos. Mm. We didn't. Mm. We're gonna do wow. that. That's good. The sauce is so good with, with the, the rice. rice. You can, I need and this, this all day. This you did a good job. Hey! You, know? you did a good job, baby. Hang on. Let me, let me eat a little more. Mmm. Well, I'm gonna try potatoes. Mm. Look at this. It, it's kind of. It looks like a holiday dish. Yeah. The coloring. Very you know? Christmassy. Very Christmassy. The potatoes are actually completely cooked down. Yeah. I can mash it up and make the sauce Easy. thicker. Easy. It acts as a thickening agent now at this point. That's that's partially why they do that. Because mm. if you didn't have any potatoes, it would just mm. be watery. I'm getting a little sauce <laughs> on the chicken. We did it, Harry. We did it, guys. Sudaro de pollo, our very own sweaty chicken.